the previous videos in this section, you have seen how you're able to gather the data in a device, like an iPad or an Android device, and have it automatically dumped into the time study processing and then go directly to the production study screen here. So if I just click on this here, you'll see what it does. It opens up the balancing and it shows you the information that's been collected in that production study. Again, the key thing here is that uh, you have a study in progress time and then you have the various stoppages that occur. And since the study in progress time is the runtime, this is accounts for all the runtime and the stoppages just show up as being the times when the other machines were not available. Those machines, again, are defined over here in the subjects area here. Now, we have an option if you want to manually collect the production study data. And if I come in here, I can see I've just opened up from scratch to show you exactly where it comes from. You open up the balance, and you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Import, and these are the production study ent entries down here. So you could open an existing one, or you could do a new one here. Now, when you do a new one, you do see an example here. So you can see here you've got the study, and here I've got 11 machines, right? So it's very similar to what we had over here in the other area, where in this case we had 14 machines, and then we had the actual data collected in the device. Now, instead of collecting the device, if I go back to this one here, it's all done in this one sheet called the OEE sheet. So what you're doing is you're listing all the assets here, and you're listing each asset and what the time they were used for. So we can see a study in progress goes from 8 o'clock to 3.20 in the afternoon. Um, the machine is going to, machine 1 has an alignment problem between 9.13 and 9.28. Machine 2 has a breakdown between this time and this time, and welding with between here and here. And then the machine five of these different items here. So you basically just create a manual log of what is going on. Now, to do this correctly, you want to probably make sure that your um, your balancing is set to be configured in minutes because this one is definitely working in minutes. So we can go to our options, we can go to general, and just say that we want to work in minutes here. So make sure you have that set right there. All you do from the Excel sheet you see over here is you click on the set to balance. And Here's all your data here. So you can see this is zero to, what is that, 440 minutes. That's the total runtime available to us. And then you see for each machine, it's just identifying where the different uh, stoppages were. And of course, from here, you can go to the reports and you can generate the production study for that particular output there. So again, the idea here is that you can uh, manually gather this data on a sheet of paper and just type it in. Just identify the study and then all the different assets you want to be included. It could be any name at all here, obviously. Then for each asset, you identify the items and you put in the start and the stop time. So for instance, let's say I wanted to add another from machine 10 down here. So I can go to machine 10. Right, and let's just say this was a parts out. And let's say parts were out from 11.32 uh, a.m to 12.05 p.m. I think it's pretty obvious you have to do the AM in capitals to keep it to recognize it here. Uh, so now I've just added the machine 10 here. So you can see over here in my previous one here, machine 10 had no problem at all. Right? It's completely blank. Everything ran all the way there. So if I close out of this and I just say send to balance, Give it a couple of seconds, and the information will come up here. And here you can see the parts out at the appropriate point in the schedule right here. Okay, so use this Excel template here if you want to manually collect data uh, for your OEE calculations, and then just type it into the simple Excel sheet, send the balance, and it will send over and give you the summary.